finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Our game tonight featuring the Portland Trailblazers as they go up against the Sacramento Kings here in Golden One Center. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beer. David Aldrich will join us momentarily from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. It's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. And Brent, finally it's here, the first game of the season. These players, like us, look like they were itching to get this game underway. Oh, man, all the preparation, the training camp, the taping, the icing, the stretching, the coaching. Let's get it going. Guys are ready to start this long marathon, and we'll see who can come out on top. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. In at the guard spots, Lillard and Sharp. And it's Thibel in at the three, the small forward. Here we go. And for the Kings, we've got Green. Curry is out there with Medu. Then it's Barnes. And it's Fox in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Medu. Fox a screen on Nurkic. Medu traps in the tray. And drawing first blood, I mean, no coach likes that momentum out of the gate. Well, for us, it will be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Here's Lillard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you look at the loyalty Lord has shown. Stuck with the Blazers through thick and thin. It's why he is beloved in Portland. Portland shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And at some point, Greg, you wonder if Lillard is the greatest Blazer of all time. Listen, he is in the conversation. You'd have to include Walden Drexler up there. But Lillard's resume in Portland has a strong argument. And we see Portland revamping on the fly. A lot of changes. But it's not a rebuild. This new look roster hoping to keep the Blazers relevant while also giving them a greater upside long term. Now, Thibel, Harrison Barnes missing on the three. Pass to Grant. But Trailblazers working the ball around now. Here's Nurkic. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Nice shot selection there. Nurkic finding a shooting window and making that one count. Curry with it. Now guarded by Nurkic. And it's Fox with the jam. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Green kicks to Curry. Takes the 13-footer and misses it off the right side of the rim. Left side, Grant. Pass to Lillard. Now, here's Sean. Six to shoot. Abel trying to get open. And it's Sharp missing. Curry passes to Barnes. Back to Curry. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's Lillard after the Kings pick up two. Portland no good that time either. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. And Green puts up a deep three. No good from outside. Portland's gone 0-2 from deep here. Grant for three. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Thibault, the pass to Sharp. Curry brings the double. Back to Thibault. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. An NBA all-defense for two years running. Matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the NBA. He misses the free throw. And great, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year, averaging three and a half steals in over two blocks a game. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season good for second best in the league. I know one thing the Kings wanted to focus on this season, and Brent, that was defense. Well, they're a team that's been at the bottom of the league on the defensive ratings for quite some time. And one way to remain competitive is to bring your defensive intensity on a nightly basis. It's going to be a point of emphasis for this new coaching staff to get these guys on board. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Here's the list of players who had the most deals in the NBA last season. And you look at Feibel. Opposing teams always need to know where he is on the court. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. Here's Grant over in the corner. Lillard nailed from three-point land. Lillard's got five. His game starts with the three. Lillard shooting opens up the rest of everything that he can do offensively. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Curry can't get it to go. Trailblazers trail by three. Curry brings the double to the paint. Nurkic in the post. Guarded by Fox. It's good. He has seven. Uh, Nurkic getting more and more comfortable at finding the open men on this team. Curry with it. Lillard picks him up. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Back in 2020, De'Aaron Fox signing a massive extension, Greg. Five years and $163 million. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. And he knocks down the first one. GA, something that's kept Portland from getting over the hump is their defense. Kevin, their defensive rating hasn't been pretty for several years. It's a point of emphasis for the Blazers going forward. Shore up the D and try and take that next step. And the Kings look a whole lot different now than they did for most of the 21-22 season. And they were changes that had to be made. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. And here is Barnes after Damian Lillard was able to get the three to go. Here's Curry with the drive. That's a great pass from Draymond Green. Just understands where his guys are going to be. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for Portland. Trailing by two. Three-pointer. And another three for Portland. Now when a team suffers a playoff drought like the Kings have, Greg, you can expect some major moves. And you just hope they can find some stability, Kevin, moving forward. This is a team that's gone through 12 head coaches since the last time they made the playoff. Trailblazers have gone 5-9 from the field here in the first. Lillard from outside. Barnes grabs the miss. Sacramento's gone three or five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. And stolen by Lillard. Now, here's Sean. Covered by Barnes. Here's Nurkic. And the three off target. Kings have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Outside Curry. The kick out to Barnes. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his third assist on the night. Well, when Harrison Barnes makes shots like that, confidence grows. He's feeling it. Teammates are going to start feeding off of that. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Now Curry. 
Rebound by Nurkic. And here is Grant to the inside. It's tipped. Fox with the steal. Medu passes to Kirk. And another three for Sacramento. And really setting the tone early with their three-point shooting. Now a timeout called by Port. Substitution here for Sacramento. Davis has checked in for Kirk. Murray comes in for. The Kings leading. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. And it's Thibel in at the small forward. And stolen by Thibel. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Thanks very much. The Kings have made a lot of moves to shake up their roster. De'Aaron Fox says, I think the mood is definitely better. It's like a breath of fresh air. Getting a feel for each other and seeing the chemistry come to fruition is huge. Success isn't always immediate with trades and signings, so we look toward the future. Kevin, back to you. That's all they can do. Okay, thanks, D.A. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. In decades past, teams that led the league in threes, if they shot that same right now, would rank break dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? And they could knock down the triple. Here's Curry. Portland grabs the miss. Norkic has got five rebounds tonight. Thibel kicks to Lillard. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. First personal foul. The Kings trail by four. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Green with a screen for Curry. And there's Green on the assist by Curry. Green's got five. That's a tough one there from Draymond Green. As tough as they come. Grant with a screen on West. Simons from outside. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry kicks to Curry. Shoots over Grant. Curry can't get it to go. Portland's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Simons against Westbrook. Simons the pass to Thibel. Here's Lillard. The tray. It's good from long range. Lillard's got the lead up to five now for the Trailblazers. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Curry with a wide open look. Another three for Sacramento. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Here's Nurkic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Norkic has got his second basket of the game. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Curry. Sharp checked in for Port. And a moment here. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the King. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. 
and you make the most of second chance opportunities and you're in there and active where well, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. Now here's Curry. He's got 10. Walker's shot is off. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Simons against Fox and stolen by Murray. Fast break, here they come. Outside Curry. Shots good by Walker. Walker's got his first points of the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Doubled by Fox. Out to the right wing. Fires from deep. Here's Eubanks. Good work there as it goes. Eubanks got nine. In that tight, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Monk finds Curry. 30 seconds left to play in the first half. From D, Walker. The Trailblazers pull it in. 19 seconds left now here in the second. Fox against Simon. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches it. The shot will not fall. Gets it off. No good on that one. It's been all about Stephen Curry for Sacramento. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. Of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. You know, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And greetings from the 2K studios. Here at halftime, the Sacramento Kings in a tight game. I love how they've been moving that rock on this one, making the extra pass whenever they can, going from a good shot to a great one. That's the winning approach, winning basketball. All right, and now one of the more highly anticipated topics, some news about trades to discuss. When you bring in a guy like Steph Curry, it transforms your entire culture. And he becomes your heart and soul, your leader, and your closer. It'll be interesting to see how the roles change throughout the roster. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Raymond Green is out there with Fox. And it's Curry. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's Metu in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Mike Brown as we get going here in the second half. He kicks it to Curry. To the middle. And it's Fox with the jam. Tough matchup here, and Fox has it going right now. The lefty getting some room and making it happen. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Sharp. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Tremont Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. 
Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. And he can't hit the second. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Sacramento Kings. The lead is two. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. And looking at the numbers for De'Aaron Fox, he's coming off an excellent season. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. Oh, yeah, one of the most dependable scorers in the league. He really saved him in several games a season ago. Clock at four. Curry attacking. And Curry with the stuff. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Lillard with no one around. Portland again missing. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Here's Sharp. Over in the corner, Lillard. Grant gets a wide open look. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Grant's got himself on the board with three there. Well, there it is. 0 of 3 to start the half, and finally, something finds its way through the net. Curry passes to Fox, and stolen by Lillard. For the lead. The rebound by Madu. I saw a green light there. He's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Fox, no good. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. Well, he's one for five in the quarter, and his body language is saying a lot about where his confidence is. Rattled just a little bit. Maybe the next open look will start him up. Stephen Curry has checked in for Sacramento. Substituting on the court. A minute 42 left in the third. Outside Curry. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Curry's got four points this quarter. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Simons kicks to Reddish. Back to Simons. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Little's got eight. Uh, that's such an evolving part of what Nasir can bring in three-point ball. Curry passes to Monk. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. I, I just, I've not seen him shoot this poorly, guys, in a game this season. Simons finds Reddish. Down low. Uses both hands to slam it down. And you wonder how much further Cam Reddish's game can get in the pick and roll action. Effective there. Curry with him. He's got 14. Inside. Monk. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his seventh assist in the game. Trailblazers leading by four. The pass to Watford. Back to Simons. Now here's Reddish. He's covered by Westbrook. Watford, that's good. Sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also give him credit for being unselfish. Outside Curry, and Curry with the stuff. It's almost hard to believe that somebody can throw it down like that. Uh, it's a small club, right, Greg? I mean, it's a pretty <laughs> small. small club, that's Very for sure. Exclusive. He can really rise up. And the defense knows this. Somebody has to come over to contest. Here's Rush. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Trailblazers out in front, up by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Man, your team, you can't see. We've reached.
minutes of the fourth quarter and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. The Kings trail by four. And on the floor for Portland here in the fourth. Lurkage the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. And it's Thibel in at the three spot. The Trailblazers shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Simons against Westbrook. Lillard way outside. Kept alive. Thibel kicks to Lillard. With the floater, and that's two points on the layup. Lillard's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Trailblazers. Curry on the wing. Defended by Thibel. And Fox has it in the corner. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his eighth assist here tonight. Westbrook against Lillard. Poked away. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Kings on the break. Curry leading the charge. Man, we all saw that right there. As he parked feline, cat like quickness and elevation from Westbrook. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. It's a one-point game. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. That game is the first and last of their home state. Fox with the steal. And here we go with Curry running it up. Wow, hammering it in. I'd like to see Fox with that fast, quick decision on the defensive end of the floor. On a Ray TNT 5G slam cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Simons, the pass to Thibel. Over to the left wing. Lillard has the open look. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Took him no time at all on that one. And the Kings lead by two. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Simons against Curry. Offensive rebound. Here's Grant. The shot misses. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Outside Curry. Going inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. Over the last few seasons, the Kings have been near the bottom of the defensive rating. And GA, that is a problem. Yeah, I think they've tried to address that a little in the draft, taking Davion Mitchell back in 21, but it's been a consistent issue in Sacramento. On average, four to six coaching changes happen after every regular season and in 2021 the Trailblazers parted ways with their coach after nine seasons and Chauncey Billups was brought in as their new leader. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Sacramento making some changes. Madhu he's checked in for Fox. Green comes in for Walker and Curry subbed in for Russell Westbrook and the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Sharps checked in. Let's check in with our reporter David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. He told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls, get into the basket. We have to give it all right now, Kevin. Thank you, David. Well, we know, Brent, the Blazers front office really seems to like Coach Chauncey Billups. They feel he brings a certain toughness to that team. Yeah, the accountability part is, is what they lean on with Chauncey and obviously a, a great connection in the point guard mentality between Chauncey and Damian Lillard. But immediately a lot of respect given to him because of how he carried himself in his career. So it's been a welcome change for the organization and we'll see if they can build upon last year. Outside curve. Curry on the wing. 
Back to Curry. Over Lillard. And Curry, the bucket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. That's just like a free throw for Curry offensively. He just does everything so well. Nasty shot. Back to Lillard. Pass to Thibel. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Head up, scanning the floor. Lillard makes a terrific feed. Great point guard play from him that time. Curry kicks to Green. Outside Curry. And Curry throws it down. And how about the roll reversal there? I mean, slamming it down right in the face of the big fella. Portland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. That's a two from Willard. It's hauled in by the Kings. Barnes has got six rebounds in the game. Now Curry. Green, the screen. Curry can't get it to go. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Curry dishes to Curry. Pass to Green for the three. It doesn't go for him. And the Trailblazers going the other way. Lillard against Curry. And Lillard gets double teamed. To take the lead. And Curry pulls it down. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody wants to ease up off the threes. Outside Green. Kings moving the ball around. A three from Barnes. Again, the miss by the King. Portland trailing here. And here's Sharp. Lillard outside. They get it again. Nurkic kicks to Thibault. Lillard from outside. Hands it from downtown. Lillard's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Outside, Green. Now, here's Curry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Jeremy Grant picks one up. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Trailblazers. As soon as you turn it over on them, they're off to the races. They have been absolutely relentless in the open floor. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out. They're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. And the Kings making a change here. Fox is checked in. Lillard from outside. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Down low, Nurkic with the steal. Curry against Lillard. Let's it go with a three. And he's good on the three ball. Lillard's got 41. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. To the inside and stolen by Lillard. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Here's a look at what's coming up now for the Sacramento Kings. On Saturday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Sunday, they'll be taking on Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. And the zero Damian Lillard wears on his jersey is more than just a number to him. Yeah, Greg, we know that represents the letter O as Dane grew up in Oakland, went to college in Ogden, and became an NBA star in Oregon. Oh, my. That's a lot of O's. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. When it comes to teams that have struggled in recent years, the Kings come to mind. And those recent years actually extend out a lot longer than anyone wants to admit. It's just been one tough season after another. 
Both good from the line that time. And through the King struggles, Brent, they've had many good players. But it's hard to believe they haven't reached the playoffs since 2006. Yeah, it's, it's really a head-scratcher, Kevin. And, and you can see that they're hungry. They want to get back to the postseason, but they just need some continuity. They need some, some guys to really pull together. And in order for all of that to happen, they've got to establish an identity. And under this new coach, maybe that will happen. Trailblazers leading by four. Grant finds Lillard. And here now is Thibel. Here's Lillard. And he converts the layup. Lillard's got 47 points. And look out. The weather report might call for an avalanche of buckets from Damian Lillard. Here's Curry. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throws. It's on Damian Lillard. 14 fouls. Portland foul. Damian Lillard. Third personal foul. 14. Fouls. And he makes the first. Shooting for second. Curry. At the line for two. And so he hits both. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. From outside the arc, and got it! Another basket! My goodness, 50 for the eight. Yep, he is putting on a show. Curry outside. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And that shot isn't the one that they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Just give themselves a little bit of a break. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Lillard just plays with a flat out edge. Dangerous as a player who knows how to draw contact inside. And he does get the second one. And that stretches their lead to eight. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Barnes. Outside Curry. The three drills the three-pointer. Curry's got 30 points. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Take a look at it. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Here's Sharp. And he drops in the layup off the glass. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. Curry looking it over. Another three for Sacramento. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. And there's the call on Curry. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Right on the first, and that puts them up by five. There's so many qualities of elite guard that Damian Lillard possesses on the floor, in the locker room. He really, truly sets the standard. Yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there. And that will add to their lead. Gets it to go from beyond the arm. Just a humongous fourth quarter for him, especially from long range. Just in a groove now, and that tray has been dead. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Fifty seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Curry. Curry on the wing to tie it up. Got it. A tremendous three to tie it up. Man, I'll tell you what. The pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Now a timeout called by Portland. Nurk 
gets the pass to Grant. On deep. Rebound by the Kings. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Curry against Lillard. And Curry throws it down hard. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're down by two. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Big chance here to tie it for the bucket. Well, they just need a solid play right now, and Coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. Seventeen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Lillard, the pass to Sharp. Count it! A huge shot to tie it up. The, the defense is key here. And so Mike Brown calls a timeout. in at the shooting guard position. Here's Norkic, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Norkic has got the first basket here in overtime for the Trailblazers. Outside Curry. And Curry throws it down. And how high can you fly? I mean, he finishes that one with some pop. GA after getting loose in the lane with a scintillating move. Lillard with it. Now Green defending. And Lillard can get tricky with that shot. He draws the foul, but still manages to squeeze that one off. The free throw drops for Lillard. Taking two shots. The free throw is good from Lillard. Now Curry. He dishes it to Fox. And there it is for him. Fox has got it all tied up now for Sacramento. Pierre and Fox stepping up big time. Alert against Curry. Good. That's another bucket. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Curry is inside. Goodbye, Lillard. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Here's Curry. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Taking two shots. Free throw good, Curry. And both free throws good for Curry. Here is Lillard. The three. 
They get the rebound. Nurkic kicks to Lillard. No good on the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Now here's Curry. Green with a screen on Lillard. Bobbed up there for Green. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. All those weapons and Draymond Green ends up being the guy hurting you. What a huge shot. The Trailblazers have gone two of four on their shots here in overtime. Three-pointer Lillard. Yet another bucket. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Here's Curry. He takes it in. Count that one. Curry's got 47 points. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Lillard misses. For Sacramento, they've gone a perfect four for four on their field goal attempts in overtime. And Curry with the stuff. He's getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. Just under two and a half minutes passed here in this overtime. Alert against Curry. Passes it to Sharp. Grant outside. Six on the shot clock. Nurkic sent the pick for Grant. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Curry way outside. It's hauled in by Thibel. Thibel's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Lillard. Fires the three. Portland again missing. And he has been a mad bomber from three-point range here in OT. Nothing, though, falling. Not the time to go cold from downtown. And a team three from Curry. The rebound by Grant. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. Lillard, the pass to Thibault. Back to Lillard. Wide open. And another one falls. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. So it's Sacramento. They lead by one. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. And those free throws make things a little more simpler right now. They just have to guard against the three-point. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 26 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. gets double team just two seconds between shot clock and game shot all eyes on Dame that time so he just moves the ball casually right to the open teammate and they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul yeah you, you have to do that though you can't just let him dribble the game and the first of two no good heartbreaking 
That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that will put them up by two. 16 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Curry against Lillard. Pass to Sharp. To the paint. Here's Nurkic. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. And he's smoking it well, but he just hasn't shown the aggressiveness that they need out of him. Probably in front by more if he was taking more shots. Timeout called by the Kings. Here's Curry. Shot is good. But oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the release. And the official. The previous play is the basket may count after all. We'll see. No guarantees this outcome is going to remain the same. And honestly, guys, in real time, I couldn't really see whether he got it off in time. But with the benefit of replay, it seems pretty clear that the clock expired just before the release. The rule on the floor is confirmed. And the calls come in. The basket was indeed too late, and this game is going to keep going. You know, at first I thought maybe he did get it off before the buzzer, but the camera doesn't lie. And here we go again, guys. Another overtime. And so we are tied again at the end of overtime. Now we're headed to overtime number two. And we'll be back with you right after this. And as we play into another overtime, the tension continues to build. Both teams refusing to quit. Here's Grant. Dishes it to Lillard. And some changes here for the Kings. Monks checked in for Medu. Curry comes in for Green. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Barnes. He's got space. Good. And a nice assist from Fox. Curry's got 53. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Lillard from outside. The shot. No good. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. Here's Curry. Drives to the hoop. And Curry throws it down. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Some changes here for the Kings. Raymond Green has checked in for Monk. Harrison Barnes comes in for Russell West. And Metu subbed in for Stephen Curry. Here's Grant. Takes the three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Metu's got his sixth rebound on the night. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Back to Lillard. It's on target from the high post. 64 points for Damian Lillard. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Curry outside. Lillard with the rebound. Lillard's got four rebounds now tonight. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Wow, Jeremy Grant, the evolution will be televised. Phenomenal at staying cool and collected in that big moment. The Kings trail by three. Outside Curry. Three outside. Rebound by the Trailblazers. 
Grinch got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Kicks it to Lillard. And the pass to Nurkic. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. Clutch bucket by Nurkic on that possession. They needed that one. Fox a screen on Simon. To the middle to end the run. And there's the nice layup by Fox. Fox has got four points now in the quarter. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Nurkic set the pick for Lillard. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Kings. And yeah, they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against Portland. That's the first that brings them within two here. And both free throws good for Curry. The Trailblazers shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Nine feet out. And Lillard with a nice bucket inside. Well, he has that ability, elevates his game in the clutch time. It's Lillard time. He's on point. There's the screen. Curry passes it to Menu. Beyond the arc. Hits it again. Wow. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Lillard looking around. Headshot off. Curry was a nice deed. And it's Sacramento's ball. There's the drive. Count. Huge shot there, and the crowd knows it. Yeah, you've got to love hearing a crowd get this fired up. And Simons, he's got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. Simons playing unselfish. That's going to help this team get in a great rhythm. The shot and game clock separated by four, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Man, the score being this close, you have to retain possession of the ball. You just can't give it away like that. Sharp checking for Anthony Simon. And so Chauncey Billups decides to call timeout. Lillard against Curry. Lillard outside. the call on Curry. That will be foul number five on him. Curry against Lillard. Tipped away. From past the arc. Can't knock in the three. Now it's an out call by Sacramento. Triple. A big three-pointer, but we might have a review here. And they are going to have to review the call. The previous play is over time to come. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. The replay gets the officials off the hook on what would have been an awful call to miss. And so it's Sacramento who's straight by with the win. A double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a needed rest. Uh, no doubt. I mean, when you have to dig that deep and play with that much determination to get a win, it was earned, and I tell you what, they've got to feel really good about themselves for fighting.